Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. Got to have a little more. Oh, had one of those nights last night where you just keep waking up for no reason and went back to sleep, but uh, be nice to just sleep all the way through. Anyway, well, let's get started. This morning, we're going to start off with a few passages from Psalm 105, and then we're going to Genesis, and then we're going to Acts. So let's get started. Psalm 105, verses 1 through 6, 16 through 22, and then 45b. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. When he summoned a famine on the land, and broke all supply of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was a sol- was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with fetters, his neck was put in a collar of iron, until what he had said came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him, the ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house, and ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure, and to teach his elders wisdom, that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. All right. Next, we're going to uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning, Genesis chapter 35, verses 22 through 29. Here we go. While Israel lived in the land, Reuben went and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel heard of it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's servant, Dan, and Naphtali, the sons of Zilpah, Leah's servant, Gad, and Asher. These were the sons of Jacob, who were born to him, and Padan Aram. And Jacob came to his father Isaac at Mamre, or Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had sojourned. Now the days of Isaac were one hundred and eighty years. And Isaac breathed his last, and he died, and was gathered to his people old and full of days. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Hmm. All right, get a little, get a little starter fluid here. Oh, good stuff. All right, uh, the uh, New Testament lesson this morning, Acts chapter 17, verses 10 through 15. And this is uh, Paul and Silas in Berea. The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. And when they arrived, they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Many of them therefore believed, with not a few Greek women of high standing as well as men. But when the Jews from Thessalonica learned that the word of God was proclaimed by Paul at Berea also, they came there too, agitating and stirring up the crowds. Then the brothers immediately sent Paul off on his way uh, to the sea, but Silas and Timothy remained there. Those who conducted Paul brought him as far as Athens, and after receiving a command for Silas and Timothy to come to him as soon as possible, they departed. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app and prayer of the day. So let us pray. Almighty God, 
You called Lawrence to be a deacon in your church to serve your saints with deeds of love, and you gave him the crown of martyrdom. Give us the same charity of heart that we may fulfill your love by defending and supporting the poor, that by loving them we may love you with all our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Uh, the prayer had mentioned uh, Lawrence, uh, who was a deacon and, and a martyr. And uh, there's a little paragraph here that I'd like to share with you. Early in the 3rd century AD, Lawrence, most likely born in Spain, made his way to Rome. There he was appointed chief of the seven deacons and was given the responsibility to manage church property and finances. The emperor at the time, who thought that the church had valuable things worth confiscating, ordered Lawrence to produce the treasures of the church. Lawrence brought before the emperor the poor whose lives had been touched by Christian charity. He was then jailed and eventually executed in the year A.D. 258, by being roasted on a gridiron. Wow. His martyrdom left a deep impression on the young church. Almost immediately, the date of his death, August 10th, became a permanent fixture on the early commemorative calendar of the church. Wow. Learn something. Learn something new every day. Whew. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed, and we will see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless.